Hello, hello, hello. I should have cleared my throat before I, uh... I turned on my mic, right? Oh, hello, Mr. Frogger! <laughs> the best starting soon screens, right? I, I noticed, looking on the, the YouTube app, that... Or on the... Um, on OBS that it kind of cut, so it's it just said arting soon, which could have meant a lot of things. Um, but yeah, it, it was meant to say starting soon. How are you doing, Mr. Frogger, today? How are you doing, my friend? So today, we have some big plans uh we're gonna actually tear down everything that we have built down here almost the only thing that's not gonna move is this a uh, new thing never seen before but that's an elevator that takes us to the exit but it's covered because it's it's a spoiler so that's the only thing that's gonna stay here all the rest is gonna have to go because we're gonna clear out the place and we're gonna start you know Planning things, placing things in a way that makes sense, and you know, having a, a bigger area and all of that. Uh, I'm good, just finished up next week's video. Oh, very cool. I have no idea what the thumbnail should be. Yeah, that's something I struggle with. I totally understand your, uh, the problem that you have with that. Uh,. I don't, uh, I I'm not good at thumbnails, let's just see it like that. So yeah, totally get it, totally get the issue here. Um, so, what should we start removing? We're gonna start with that thingy here. Let's just empty it. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, this flint, we won't actually need that. Mint, we already have enough flint as it is. Oops. You go there, you go there, thank you. Um, oops, I forgot to actually stop the thing, so let's break this and that, and uh, we're gonna need a bucket for the lava. Uh, where's the lava? I think it's right there. There it is. Perfect. Uh, where should we put the lava? We have another lava source out there. So let's pick a little spot far away from everything. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just going to leave it in the bucket and put it in a chest. I don't need to uh, be so cheap when it comes to... Uh, my iron, because I, I got an iron farm. Well, I, I just stopped the iron farm, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. I don't have to be so cheap. I'm going to take the lava here. There we go. And that's here. That's not something we're going to need in the near future. So let's break all of that. All of that. It's sad, all stuff that I've made on stream before, but you know how things are. You gotta move forward. I'm gonna drop this here. I don't need those nuggets. Uh, do I have third? Okay. There we go. Now, we can start clearing this area. Uh, let's pick up those blocks. I think that was the first project that we've made on this server here. So, yeah. So sad. So sad to see it go. Well, not really. So, Mr. Frogger, can we get hints about that video with um, the 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 
thumbnail that you are struggling with, or is it a secret? Gonna keep everything together. That's gonna go here, that goes here. Short film about not going on an adventure. That seems fun. <laughs> And, and what's the, the reason to uh, not go on an adventure? Is it just like about staying indoors and just chilling on the couch with a cup of coffee or, or hot chocolate or something like that? the weather oh okay well I can't wait to watch that video it'll probably be super entertaining as always uh, put this here I'm gonna leave some stuff here also okay yeah, I got my stuff here already so I'm gonna keep the filter written here already. I'm uh, not used to working with filters yet, so... I'm gonna go here, that's gonna go here. And these nuggets are gonna go here. That has been grinded into... into gravel. We can throw away the flint. We can actually... Throw the flint again, but also throw the cobble and the diorite. We're not gonna need it where we're going. Uh, after that, what else do I need? Let's remove that and that. don't have silk touch on my axe and I don't want to break them I just want to keep them as they are yeah I'm kind of thinking <clears throat> for next month just to do a bunch of short film style videos take a break from the let's play to refresh yeah that's it's super important to refresh you know get uh, change your uh, your focus from time to time just to uh, not get bored of doing similar things over and over again it can get pretty uh, draining when you uh, when you always do this or when you feel like you always do the same thing There, that goes there, that goes there. Uh, after that, what can we remove? Uh, we can remove that. We're actually gonna remove the um, the power to the the elevator. We're not gonna need it for now because we're not gonna go outside. We can clear this up. With this entire thing. Good for the creator and the audience. Yep, totally. Totally. Audience, audiences also get uh, can get bored when you're always doing the same thing. It's always fun to have a bit of uh, variation in what you do. Makes everyone happy. Uh, this is gonna go there. So, are you thinking of? coming on here on the uh, Northern Lights server. We can remove all of that, all of that, all of that, and put it away in the chest. It's gonna annoy me if they're not together. Uh, that cobblestone stair, I don't know. 
I'm not gonna keep that. It's not important. Or actually, let's see if it works in the grinder. If it's gonna give us something we want. I mean, it's a win-win in either case, because we don't want to keep it. We don't want that cobble stair. Oh, good to know. I think Kelly wants to do a build challenge thing sometime soon. Oh, that's really fun. You won't be do doing content. Yeah, but that's it's always cool to have uh, people over, hang out. Good to know, good to know. Uh, is there something there? No, nothing here. You'll see. It's super fun playing with Create. Like it, It's a lot more fun than I expected at first. So now we can remove all of that. I think. Okay, that's good. Let's just put one light here. Um, I'll fit in. Uh, what could I put elsewhere? It's not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna put some stuff here instead. There we go. Um, let's throw away that one slab. That here. Okay, I I might seem like I'm really organized, putting everything in its right place, but it's kind of pointless because it's all gonna go. I'm gonna tear this entire thing <laughs> down so yeah but for now it's gonna be easier to keep everything in chests uh, so now I think we can remove the engine yeah there's nothing connected to it we don't need it for anything let's just destroy everything it's I think it's my most destructive start to, uh, to a stream Oh, that was not a good idea, though. Oops. Uh, let's see if I can... No, that did not work. There we go. No more water. Yeah, I think that was a bit of a bad idea. Because... I think that was going somewhere where I didn't really want water to go. Yep. Yep. Okay, no, that's... That doesn't seem too bad. Only one torch. Nice. Disaster averted. Oops. We saw a bit of spoilery thing. TNT would be quicker. Yeah, I know, but I want to keep my stuff. I don't want to lose everything. <laughs> yeah, it would be quicker and more fun as well, but... Yes. Would be a bit too destructive. Other than your uh, 
thumbnail problems. How you been doing, Mr. Frogger? Haven't talked in a little while. I feel... What's up? What's new? And all that stuff. <laughs> Like I had some more copper copper ladders. There they are. Okay. Just move all of that here. One row of stuff from create. Not too much. Uh, that here. Perfect. Two weeks of everyone apart from from me getting sick, which is never fun. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. So you you got sick basically, or like you got sick, then someone else got sick, and then someone else. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough when that happens. Oh, hope you're doing better now. Well, you seem to be doing better. In your latest episode. Wife and kids and rabbit all got sick. Oh. Oh, everyone apart from me getting sick. Okay, I, I completely misread that. I, I thought it, you said... Well, I, I thought it meant like... Everyone was like away from you because you were sick. I'm bad at reading sometimes. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> I thought they would break on their own. I didn't know they needed to be updated. That's interesting. Everyone's doing great. That's good to know. Yeah, I, I remember seeing the... Uh, the tweets about the rabbit being sick but I hadn't realized that like the entire family was sick that's sad uh, all of that could go somewhere else that also let's put this here because we're gonna get more kelp because we gotta clean the kelp farm or well not really a kelp farm just a kelp patch I guess how we should call it oh hello pillagers sorry about the entirely black screen there we go had to just gather all of my uh, all of my kelp uh, and then we're gonna go and clean up or clear out the water in there. Sorry, I forgot to finish my sentence. Oops, oh, I'm drowning. Sorry. I don't know why I apologize. I'm the one who's drowning. Now we have some light and some air. That's perfect. Gonna make things a bit easier for everyone involved. Is those stupid pillagers being a bit too noisy? But other than that, not that big of a deal. Oh. 
I don't know if the torch trick feels faster than just breaking the, uh, like placing dirt and breaking it. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. If I could make any type of content for any game or non-game, what would I do? Oh, that's a good one. Um, hmm. Well, I, I make Minecraft content because I really like making Minecraft content. Um, there's one series that I used to do and I kind of stopped doing uh, because uh, I didn't get like it, it was a lot of effort and like the last video that I made of it was uh, like it, it didn't get any views at all especially compared to the rest but it's my um, Omni's ideas or, or Omni's suggestions so I was kind of uh, trying, trying to think of um, ways to improve some parts that were a bit neglected in the game so for example trying to uh i, I don't want to use the word fix because that feels arrogant but uh like how to improve let's say bane of arthropods or uh what else did i do like the, the music stuff like uh, jukeboxes and no blocks and i i really liked that uh, doing that series all thinking about all those uh those mechanics and how how they could be changed and all of that but uh yeah so if if i could find a way to uh or if if it got more views if it had yeah if it had gotten more views i probably would have kept doing it and i, I don't really feel like investing too much time on it considering like a stuff you them yeah so uh, yeah, that's it's, it's it's always a bit disappointing when you put a lot of time in something and the reception is just underwhelming. Yeah, yeah, and especially like compared to, for example, just building things, it it's it's really not the same kind of work. So yeah, it it feels like if you if it gets like i think the last one got like 30 views or something which is not bad but it's about as much as what i could get from a, a um like survival smp video or a let's play video i should have said um so yeah that's uh Yeah, like a podcast idea, but the thing that I really liked about that was uh, like making all the stuff, like for example, I would make GYs or I'd make, I'd work with texture packs, like with the, the fix that I had, or oh, I, I said it, but the idea that I had to um, change the hoe, I made a bunch of texture packs to uh, just change the... Um, the, 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 the look of farmland and of uh, path blocks because you can hold path blocks so it could turn farmland into a different kind of farmland stuff like that like playing with texture packs like that I really really enjoyed that um, but yeah other than that I'd like to really get to your, your question what type of content uh I, I don't really have much more to say than sorry than than what I I already do. Um, I do what I like and I like what I do. So yeah, it kind of it all works. Um, I do really like your cinematic format. And that does remind me, there, there's something that I could say. Uh, my um, my other series that 
but it's kind of on ice at the moment, but the one where I build villages and other stuff in uh, various biomes. Um, one of the goals that I had with that was to kind of create a world, like a full world, and make videos. I, I don't know if you've seen that kind of video. There's only one channel that I follow that has those kind of videos, but um, it's, I think... I don't remember the name. I have to look. Anyway, but they, they make like... It's, it's, it's not Minecraft related or, or anything, but it's like a playlist, it's just a series of songs that have kind of a similar mood, similar feel. And the the person who does that is a um, like a, an artist, a, uh, like they, they draw backgrounds and, and well, uh, kind of little animations, but like it, it all looks hand-drawn. So it, it's super cool to have like this atmospheric type of of uh, of scenery and and of like it it's really um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be if it's the right word but contemplative like it's you you're kind of just meant to watch and and enjoy what you see <laughs> that that kind of thing w with some chill music above or uh, over that yeah, there's uh, that channel, and just to get back to what I was saying, because there is, like, <laughs> it's going somewhere, but uh, yeah, I, I wanted to kind of use that world to, to do that in Minecraft, so I might eventually do it. Um, grills, one ingot, I need another, yeah, just two drills. Two ingots. Uh, what is it? Six of those. And two of those. I think. To make two drills. Perfect. But yeah, so that's uh, an idea that I had. Something that I would eventually like to do, but I need. I kind of need to build that whole world before I do that. And that's the first time I've ever said I wanted to do that, so yeah, I guess a bit more pressure to actually do it now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need. So, right now, what I'm doing is just a drill system, kind of like what we use to dig out the tunnel, but we're gonna use that to clear out larger areas with a um, minecart contraption, so where is... I'm gonna need a few rails. And where's the minecart assembler? There it is. Oh, and I'm gonna need my glue as well. Um, just gonna glue everything together like that. rail there it is it's really cool I, re uh, I realized that you can uh, enchant the glue the super glue tube so right now like I can get XP to mend it to fill it back up I fill it uh, I, I glue with XP now <laughs> somehow But yeah, what about you? What other, or what type of content would you, uh, would you like to make, other than what you already do? You you really seem to uh, be doing great and to really be enjoying your uh, your current trend of uh, cinematic let's play. I'm gonna need some. Power. Let's take a torch. Uh, so now the machine is going.
Yeah, it's not that quick, is it? No, I don't want you to... Why? What's that? What's that rail? Oh, it's part of the assembler. Dang it. Okay. Now we are very close to a disaster. <laughs> Let's just move away from, from that place. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I see the problem. I think. So now, if I power it. The track won't be part of the contraption, because it wasn't glued. Perfect, okay. Attempt number two. Um, you do really enjoy this cinematic stuff. Uh, miss the SMP interactions, but I'm not sure how to make content from it. Yeah. Speedrun stuff in the future? Are you serious? <laughs> that, that does not sound like a Mr. Frogger thing. <laughs> Speedrun sounds so... Not, not like you. <laughs> I mean, it's it's cool if you want to do that, of course. <laughs> I'm not uh, not judging, obviously. It's uh, a bit surprising. Like to make a podcast at some point. Oh, that's cool. Not now. Um, I know folks at the Withering Effect. I don't know if you know that podcast. Duds and Jimbo. They are from uh, the Ripple Effect, another server where I play. And they started the, the Withering Effect a few years ago. I think it's been a little while, like four years or something. That's how you. That's why you're not sure about how you can do the speedrun stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> that might be a bit weird to figure out. Or not, not weird, but that, that might take a, a little time to figure out. Um, let's go one more. Oops, nope. But here, but... There. Oops. I don't really want you to turn, but... Eh. Clearing blocks is clearing blocks. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Good to know that you know them. They, they do really like to get guests. So if, if you ever want to get in contact with them, they are uh, they're pretty easy to reach. They're cool. They're cool dudes. Especially with the um, the, the the cinematic Minecraft content. That you're doing, it it could really be interesting for them to like, take your uh, take you as an interviewee or as as a guest. Talk about other ways to to create content and to play the game. I think it's something they're always trying to find. Yeah, they're on channel sixty four. Yeah. They, uh, they made the switch when things got a bit too slow on Ripple. Sure, I'll, I'll, I can I can get in touch with them if you want. Though they recently switched to a um, 
once a month podcast format, so um, it might not be like in a very, very near future, but it, it could happen within a few months, I guess. I'm, I'm not gonna fuck for them, of course. You... Go away. Go away, Stab. We don't need you anymore. You're in no rush? Seriously? You? Would've never thought. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I'm just messing with you. Okay, so there's gotta be a way to make it work faster than that. What if I just push it? Is it gonna, like, go faster or... Because it's, it's really not a uh, quick process. Thought I could make it go faster. Because I, I don't want to automate it because... Like, I could make it, like, deploy its own rails and all of that. But, yeah, I don't want to do that, because I, I don't want to lose it. <laughs> I don't want it to just go and run and, and yeah. Just go its, on its merry way. So that's why I'm trick. I'm kind of trying to do it. Like that. Ah, uh, crap. No! Okay, let me just start further out. Maybe if they were on powered rails, they would go faster. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm in no rush either. <laughs> Also, just to um, get back to your uh, question earlier, I kind of thought of something, but another thing that I really want to work on or add to my content, sorry, I kind of got silence a bit, uh, silent a bit, but yeah. One thing that I think would be really fun is to, um, I, I did mention the music aspect of the game, like note blocks and stuff like that, and I, I have a friend who's like a real, like for real musician and um yeah he makes lots of stuff oops no place it here he makes lots of stuff with uh no blocks and stuff like that and i think that's something that i'd really like to uh to add to my um the way i play the game like i'm i'm not a musical person at all but still i think it'd be cool to uh try and uh yeah, just add a bit more music to what I do, like making 
But I, I already kind of did it a bit with uh, on Day Bound this season. With uh, when I made the song for uh, the, the the boxing mini game. Wait, why did I only take four? That's not what I need. So yeah, it's it's not new content per se, but a new approach to my content, adding more music, is something that I think could be really fun. Um, oops, I didn't properly center it. So let's just move it by one block. Oh, yeah, didn't glue it with the rest. That's all right. That's all right. We can deal with that. All right. See ya, Mr. Frogger. Have so have a good. Gonna assume it's dinner at this time of the day for you. Have a good dinner. Thank you for uh, joining me. It's always fun to have you over. Ah, dang it. Wrong place. Eh, I'm just gonna move them back by a block. Oops. Almost a disaster again. That's always fun. Um Okay, let's put this here like that. Hello Tom Toussaint. How are you doing? Did I pronounce your name right? It sounds French, so I assumed Wait, no, I'm gonna move this that way. Hello, hello, how are you doing today? Okay, we're playing around with some create mod with some minecart contraction. It's French. Cool, cool, cool. Are you French as well, or is it just your uh, just your name? Just uh, you like your uh, origins? Yeah, I'm doing good. Working on some big stuff to break lots of blocks. Belgian. Oh, I've never been to Belgium, but I've heard lots of good things. One of my former roommates. Uh, Spent a semester abroad in, uh, what was it? Louvain-la-Neuve, I think? I think that's where he was. And he, uh, he really enjoyed it. Let's keep that. here but there we go cool for him yeah so are you a uh, do you play create as well or are you a minecraft player I'm assuming if you clicked on the stream you at least play minecraft making broad assumptions
Yeah, but um, I I could, and I did it already for another thing. But I just I don't want it to uh, go out of control and just go too far away. But yeah, I should. You're right. I should. Uh, would I need to put it here or over? Would need to be there, right? Instead of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it would need to go. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna add the deployer. It's gonna make things just a bit simpler for everyone involved. Oops. There and there. Okay. There we go. Move this back. Remove this. Yeah. Uh, where are my deployers? There they are. Potato cannon. Yes! I just love the sound. I don't know if you can put power on them to do to deal more damage, but yeah. They don't deal a lot of damage, but the sound, the sound is just perfect. Um, oops. Wrong way around. Um, no, I can't see this side from here. Dang it. Uh, did I shift place it? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, wait, no, I need to... Put a rail in the filter. There it goes. Now let's power it. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna keep one rail just to put. Oh wait, no, I can't put one rail here because of the glue. Okay, perfect. I love it. Okay, that's far enough. Also, I think, yeah, it was empty. So yeah, definitely far enough. Uh, where's my wrench? Oh, wait, no, I need to... Oh, I could add. What's the thing? What's the thing that I'm thinking of right now? Um. I forgot the name of the thing. What's it called? Thing that grabs item and puts them in the, the inventory. Plow. That's how it's spelled. Plow, that's how it's spelled. Three sheets, alloys, and a casing. I'm gonna put a plow there. Just so I can feed it some more without having to break it every time. So I can give it some more uh, rails. Uh, it was three alloys. A, um, two, 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 two. I'm gonna. Am I gonna need to make a little like, press? Yes, I will. I need to put my stuff back. Dang it. I didn't want to have to do that. Uh, where are my thingies that go under the thingies? There they are. Depot. Um, I 
I should have made that stuff before tearing everything down. Also, is my hand crank strong enough for that? Yes, it is. Perfect. Excellent. So, have you been playing Create for uh, for long? I don't even know how long that uh, that mod has existed, but it's so much fun. It's so great. Uh, mechanical plow. Um, mm, 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 where could I put that? I put it here. Is it gonna work? Only one way to find out. The crit mod makes you crash for some reason. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, on this server where I'm playing, um, we used to have problems with that as well. Uh, to the point where we actually had to change the... Um, did it grab them? No, it did not. Yeah, we actually had to like restart the season in a new world so that everyone was able to play. I kept crashing as well. We were playing with uh, better Minecraft as well as... Yeah, it's a server, yeah, with some friends. Ah, it doesn't work. Dang it. Well. Oops, no. It's not gonna work like that. Uh, gonna grab those. Yeah, we used to, to have uh, better Minecraft. Uh, but we don't have it anymore. Because it kept crashing. So now we have a... Uh, I think it's... Uh, Paper server now, I think. I'm, I'm really not knowledgeable when it comes to modded. But my friends just made it. That's not how it works. It's not. Crap. I thought it could work. I thought it could grab stuff from the ground. Oh, they need to break them. Uh, I thought it could just grab items from the ground. Crap. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm just gonna put loads of rails. And I can always follow it. It's not, it's not a problem. Um, so... I'm gonna grab all my rails. All my rails. All these rails that I have. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm starting to learn more about this this mod. With an endocyte endocyte funnel, I could pick things up. That's good to know. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so now it's gonna go underwater. That's not what I want. Um, do I have some block? 
Rocks on me. Uh, wait, actually, I could just have made. I could have just made a bridge. Just to dig a bit further out. Then I'll make another one. Shawls and Fuzzle. I do not know them. Not familiar with them. I got all my knowledge from ZF. That's the uh, that's the one that I follow. <laughs> is English, but Fuzzle's French, okay. I sadly do not know them. I'm, I don't know a lot of uh, content creators. I know like the Hermitcraft gang and the uh, other adjacent players. But other than that, I don't really know anyone. Yeah, normal. Sadly, there's just so many hours in a day. Can't watch everyone. Sadly. It, it's really cool watching that thing work. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it's really the thing that I like the most about this mod is just... Seeing things work. Not just... Not just building things, but... Yeah, having things kind of come to life. It's so cool. Um, let's pick it back up. But I can go there. Just watching over your machines, destroying the world for those sweet, sweet resources. Right? It's so much fun. So much fun. It's great. Just gonna grab that. <laughs> oh, grab it with the wrench. Oh. Yeah, I, I I approve now. It was a better idea to put the um, the rails to put the deployer to place the rails. it eventually I'm not just digging a hole I, I have a base I got plans for this place but I need to uh, clean things up a bit before I get to do them and um, if you deploy the back you can just 
Give him a diamond layer. Get to farm for you. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those uh, those things in action. Uh, but it's it's not really where I'm uh, what I'm looking for. I got like a few diamond blocks, and so far that's that's good enough for me. Um, that does not need to be in my inventory. Uh, what should be in my, my inventory? That that's good enough. Just gonna dig out down there a bit. Oops, it's inside the block. Dang it! Need to remove one more. I don't think I actually needed to remove them, but I preferred to. Also, I'm going to put some rails here already. Come on, move! Okay. You can automate everything. Yeah, definitely. That's really cool. I'm not... Um, I'm not really big on automation, though, but it's cool that... Like, all the mechanics for that are there. You can automate if you want. That is factory, but in Minecraft, yeah. But again, it's it's not just that. Like the part that I actually like is like the whole like how everything feels alive. Oops, I have a hole here. I know I could I could put a uh, another deployer to place blocks, but eh, maybe for a future future uh, drill like that. Yeah, to me it really is like how you can animate everything and make everything look alive. I don't have a better word than that than, than alive, but yeah, that's the... That's how it feels to me. And I, I really, really enjoy it. Now, this little patch of water here is gonna cause me trouble, right? Yeah, it's really cool to have you over. Really cool to have people over when streaming. It's fun to talk with people. All right, well, have a good day to you too. Thank you for coming over. Hope to see you in the next one. I don't have like a regular schedule or anything, but... Oh, thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. There should be a video pretty soon in a not so distant future that's the reason why i'm i'm underground right now i'm uh is it stuck okay no yeah that's the reason i'm underground right now i got some spoilers above ground hello devin how are you doing buddy we are destroying Everything! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I made a little machine to tear down the, the entire place. Down here, we're gonna make a big hole. We changed things a bit. I'm, I'm working on an episode at the same time, and there are multiple spoilers above ground. <laughs> Sounds like my type of live stream, yeah. But yeah, we're clearing out the entire area down here. Do I have more room for activities? Is basically the uh, the whole plan for today. Hmm. 
Now I'm filling in some of that water. Because I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this machine, it mines out stone. Wait, just realize you also use stay true. I'm not sure what you mean, Tom. I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, so the it's basically a bunch of drills. And they, they break the blocks in front of it. That's basically what the block does. And it's on the uh, little machine. It's the same kind of machine that I used. The kind of contraption that I used to dig out the tunnel. Oh, texture pack. I don't use this uh, texture pack or anything. But yeah, it's the same kind of machine that I used to dig out the tunnel. But I think you might not have been there at that point. For that one stream. Um, but yeah, I dug out a tunnel for the, uh, for the little train. To go through a mountain. So I... Uh, yeah, I just made it just a tiny bit bigger. A tiny little bit. Uh, does it have a limit to which blocks it can break? I do not know. But yeah, it can break what I need it to break right now. <laughs> That's good. Uh, now we're gonna go that way a bit. back and oh I'm probably short on rails now so I'm gonna uh, put it back like that and yeah since it's got barrels in the machine it's gonna use the barrels and as an inventory um, so yeah it can grab all the blocks and also it can use the blocks in its inventory to um, for example use as this deployer basically the, this deployer is a uh, right click simulator so uh, whatever you want it to do it, it will kind of right click so right now I'm, I filtered it to only take rails so it's gonna place rails like on this block here uh, uh, every uh, Anytime it can, basically. Um, but there is something I wanted to try out that Tom told me earlier. It's that I can actually make or put an endosite funnel and it's gonna grab. Let's go up here. It should grab the things that I throw as well as or no, no, not as well as it just it's gonna grab the things that i threw in front of it so i could use it to put the rails back in that should be good should be useful let's try it out i put this here oops okay yeah so it, it, uh, it already does pick them gonna grab a few and I'm gonna glue everything together perfect uh, now I'm gonna remove this one because otherwise it's gonna get stuck um, and the hole is gonna be for uh, my base <laughs> basically that's uh, that's the idea
just that instead of like trying to get a beacon and clear everything, I thought I could just use a crazy machine to do it for me. That'd be better. There we go. Here. Yeah, basically how it works is like you get the assembler and you uh, put blocks around it and so the assembler is, is that and when you uh, well you glue all the blocks together and glue to the assembler and when you run a minecart through the assembler it's gonna grab everything that was glued to it so like now it's just this minecart but there's this entire whole thing above it um, you can do that to um, do all sorts of stuff, like, for example, uh, grabbing uh, grabbing uh, those, uh, how you call that, spawners. It becomes like a thing now. Yeah, clearing everything vanilla style would be a shame. We got all those machines. Ah, uh, it's not gonna grab it when it's moving. Uh, that's a shame. That's sad. You know what? Just gonna place them, because I'm gonna have to break them anyway. Or is it gonna break them? Okay, it's, it's not gonna break the rails. Perfect. Oops. There we go. That way, I won't have to, to uh, break it or disassemble it and then. And then put the rails back. Clearing out vanilla style would be a shame since you have access to the machines. Yeah. That's kind of the point of the mod is to. Uh, around with those machines so yeah it's uh it makes more sense to actually use them <laughs> i think it would be faster if i used powered rails but i i don't have powered rails and I I don't really care about speed at this point. So how you been doing Dev? What is up? me but doesn't seem to hurt me clearing out the nether roof using dragon eggs I've yeah participated in that once it was tedious 
I, I, I understand why they for not playing Minecraft anymore after clearing out that big hole in the nether roof. Doing good, doing good. I'm pretty tired, it kind of sucks because I just had a week off. We have a spring break week at the beginning of March and it was my only or my, my first, not my only, but my first week back from that and I'm just, just as tired as I was before so it, it kind of sucks but you know surviving it's gonna be okay can't wait for this year to be over <laughs> but you know i made bad decisions it's my fault no one forced me to and it's okay like that and i'm gonna survive i'm not gonna not gonna die or anything it's just yeah not the best here sadly um yeah 17 by 17 hole in the nether and use the tnt duping machine to clear out those chunks now you're doing it again ouch when you say 17 by 17 Wait, no, I do remember you. Yeah, it's a 17 chunks by 17 chunks, right? Because I remember like a massive, massive hole in the nether roof. Which I'm guessing you had some kind of automation to... Um, chunks, yeah, to break. You had some kind of automation to break the... Uh, break the... Break the 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 how do you call that? Bedrock. Yes. Bedrock. Forgot the word. This is like the the one that Whitey made. it wasn't even that that big, it's just that she didn't have any other means of breaking bedrock. Or she didn't know any means other than just Manually, one by one. So, yeah. Burnout was totally understandable in her case. With playing machines, okay. So there are ways to... Uh, to break them with flying machines and stuff like that. That's good to know. Okay, so now is that a bad idea? Uh, it is. I'm gonna have to stop it earlier. Because I don't want to break my chests. Although the contents would probably go inside those barrels, but it's not something I want to deal with. But I think we still have a bit of room to spare. Before we reach that problem. Uh... Yeah, so it's not that far from here, though. Oh, you can stand on it. That's fun. Also, is it gonna fall down inside that hole? Okay. So it's tops at the right and on the little ledge here again good to know good to know uh i'm gonna keep this here i'm gonna go down another layer and i'm gonna do things a bit smarter now uh, 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 uh. 
we're just gonna start it here. And actually, oops, thought I was further up. Uh, here, yeah, actually, I think we could just place it down here. Gonna act a bit weird at first, but eventually it's gonna tear everything down. It's gonna start digging the hole and we're gonna have to just, just turn it back. A bit. Nope, that's not getting broken. Okay. Now it is, kind of. Ah, crap. So it can't just be in the hole. Okay, it's still got rails. Oh, right. That needs to be extended a bit. Okay. It's alive! Yay! You can also use the pick to tear down the pieces behind the machine as it goes forward. Nah. Nah, I'm not gonna use a pick for that. I got a machine instead. I mean... Why use my own body when technology can do it for me? Or can do what I want? In, in my place. Right? So, other than that, how you been doing, man? What's up? What's new? Sad that the funnel won't grab the uh, the rails behind it. So I could use the plow. I have the plow. I could just place it behind here. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I don't want to run out of. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with running out of those uh, those little rails. I'm just gonna use the plow. Uh, that, that I'm gonna leave there though. So basically what the plow does is... Well first I'm gonna remove this. Uh, I need my glue. Okay. Yeah, what the plow does is it's gonna break the blocks that it runs into. So if you put the plow behind it, so it, it will deploy rails but behind it it's gonna grab them and put them back in the inventory of the uh, of the machine so it's a super cool system to uh, to make sure that you uh, can go indefinitely um do I get just busy with work do you celebrate Pi Day I do not celebrate Pi Day because Pi is an aberration I celebrate Tau Day because Tau is good. Unlike Pi, which is just trash. I have very strong opinions on on the existence of Pi and, and why it shouldn't be. Very strong opinions. <laughs> That's Tau, it's T-A-U. Um, it's, uh, it would be June... Why is that there? Uh, June 28th. Basically, Tau is the double of Pi. Two times Pi. And it's a million times better than Pi. Pi is just pointless. It's a bad decision by someone who 
to be honest, did not know better that the, the ancient Greeks couldn't have had anything better than Tau. I, I understand the um, where they, they were coming from, but still, it's, uh, it's an aberration. Um, honestly, it, it's more of a, a math meme than anything. Um, like, I never learned about Tao in school or anything. It's just like in math circles, people talk about Tao. People bring up Tao as a, as a thing and yeah. It, it just it makes more sense but it's not it's not something that would like make sense to be thought in school wait why are those blocks broken what happened here did I break those oh they're glued with the other meh big deal it's not a problem. Look at that. There we go. Oh, so I glued the floor as well. Actually, you know what? It's gonna bug me. On Tau, do you get double the pies? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> you could see it like that. <laughs> um. But yeah, basically, the reason is... The reason for the existence of Tau is that um, Pi was made, uh, well, it, it was calculated from uh, the, the diameter, and it's the only thing that, well, or the diameter is only used in one thing, and it's the circumference, it's Pi times the, the diameter is the circumference. So it's a bit like uh, other than that we we use the radius and it would just make a lot more sense to instead of having pi be a link to the as a link to the diameter and we always double it because we work with the radius instead of the diameter I think I'm not explaining it right but just look at like arguments for tau instead of argument or uh, instead of pi and you, you'll find out a lot of very, very cool things. Like a, a lot of the formulas for, uh, for whatever involves pi. Pi is always multiplied by two. So yeah, just make would just make more sense to uh, include that already. Memorizing the ten digits of pi was a waste. Uh, well, kind of yes, because well, it depends. It practices memory, but you you you'd never get to use pi without a um like w without. What, was I trying to, what am I trying to say? You, you'll, you'll never get to use pi without having a calculator. So it's, it's yeah. Not super useful. Um, yeah. The area of a circle... Well... Not everything, because like the area of a circle is pi r squared, but um, you said you didn't do calculus, so you won't really see that. But it would make more sense to have a ha one half as a um, like written in front, 
it would make more sense than to just have pi would be like half one half tau r squared why are you stuck like that so yeah that's uh that's what's happening with that uh, eye here. Oh, we're stuck with a weird other... Uh, I'm, I'm going to rework the glue here. But yeah, we have a weird rail that's kind of glued in the machine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a good job of, of convincing you that uh, Pi is bad, but like the, the, the various formulas would make more sense mathematically if we doubled Pi instead. Is the um, least involving <laughs> way to argue that that I can think of today without like it's good well because I'm not prepared for any <laughs> any of that of course I didn't expect to get questioned on my uh, allegiance to Pi Day whoa that was painful uh, let's remove this actually Let's just pick the glue and all of that. All of that. Sorry about that. I can get lost in what I was trying to say. Now everything is glued together again, I hope. Is it? No. Oh, right. I'm gonna just glue the entire front part together. And now I'm stuck. Just thought of the perfect prank. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm a bit scared. I don't trust you. And your stupid pranks. <laughs> Would it involve covering a certain base in pies everywhere, or...? Would it involve something like that? the end okay we're at the end now okay um, I'm just gonna go and do the other part at the other end filling a pie with string that's disgusting oh that's so mean cuz like it's so disgusting like when you got hair in your mouth but now you're trying to eat a pie, and it's filled with... Ugh! You're evil, man. You're evil. You're a monster. String theory pie. <laughs> Ew! Ew. And then you say I'm too mean with my games. Ew, you're a monster. Sorry, there's no way around it. You're just... Yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
Mwahahaha. Yeah. Look at that machine go. I could also add like another deployer one block down that would place blocks so that it could like build its own bridge. I've been told that you can do that. Which is, again, super crazy. Did you do anything for Pi Day, Dev? You need a... Yeah, you need to pipe that water out. Yeah, I've, I've played with pipes enough for uh, a few days still. Wait, no, I'm gonna keep as many as I can. That one can go. And that one to be there. Yeah, I'm not gonna play around with pipes and hose and hoses or anything like that for a foreseeable future. celebrate by day but you don't like math ah uh, yeah you don't know what you're missing math is amazing but pi is stupid Come on, you can do it. Maths where people were evil. Well, yeah, I mean, I am a teacher. So, that, that explains, or that, that all makes sense. did use a Pythagorean theorem to beat your dad. Ow, please explain that to me. I need... I need that kind of story in my life. Please.
Well, isn't that convenient that it just so happens like that this part here is at the exact right height that I need? Ah, that's great. That is great. Don't have to build bridges by myself, like a peasant. And when you say to beat your dad, you mean to beat your dad in what way? So you didn't say to beat up your dad, so I'm, I'm guessing that's good. <laughs> We don't really see all that well over there. separate cars to the museum. I took the A side and B side and he took the C side but knowing that A squared plus B squared equals C squared they are the same distance. But the route you took had a higher speed limit. Ah, okay yeah. But you did have a, a longer, you did travel a longer distance. Because of course like from point A to point B, like the straight line is the shortest. So technically what helped you was not Pythagoras, it was just knowing the speed limits. But, but, I did math all day yesterday and more all week and I'm gonna do more math tomorrow so yeah no more math for today sadly you need to put an end to this evil <laughs> No, they can be the same distance. Because like if you have like four here and three here, like between this torch, let's just remove a few torches to not get confused too much. But like from this torch, like four blocks, three blocks, that distance here isn't the same as doing that can be the same also you were distracting me and now my machine got away ruined everything not really <laughs> Again with your evil laugh. I'm I used to be the one with the evil laugh. And now you got an evil laugh. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. That's not how things should be. Bench. Not really that useful here. 
Uh, we need to make ourselves a little staircase that goes up. And did I hear a zombie? Did I just hear a zombie? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. That would be like typical me. Ah, uh, it's cool to know that it won't break the uh, the torches. So things will stay lit up. That's really good to know. Go machine. So have you had fun experimenting with the new blocks that are gonna come in uh, 120? Your thoughts, <clears throat> sorry, on the new, on the new blocks. Or do you have any thoughts on the new blocks? Did you know that there were going to be new blocks? <laughs> sure I'm not gonna mess anything up but yeah that's good okay also why are you not moving anymore come on move stupid machine oops sorry I didn't mean to insult you and then have you fall in a hole Oh, torch, dang it. Uh, let's break the block. Place of the block. Break that, put that here. And send it back on its merry way. Hey, I said send it back on its merry way. Why won't you move? What's wrong with you? No, that's not where you should be going. Stop doing that. Go away, you. <laughs> Take two. There we go. That's better. Oh, and it's gonna... Oh, it's gonna tile the... Uh, not tile. What's the word I'm looking for? Turn it this uh, into farmland come on right okay uh, I'm gonna have the same problem again with the removed or not placing properly
There we go. Oh, that is done. Oh, we all that was going under that. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Uh, what? Where should I go now? I'm going to start digging that way. Though, it'd be better if it could be one layer higher. So I'm going to start it a bit higher than that. Again with the stupid water flooding everywhere, dang it. Uh, let's just go. How far can we go in there? Or how easy is it gonna be? There we go. No more water. Perfect. Actually, now that I think of it, I can definitely use that thing for now. Oh, how's it called? Free cam, yes. Gonna make things a bit easier. Uh, as the machine becomes self-aware, no, I have. Um, oops, spoilers. Um, totally forgot that I didn't want to spoil anything. Okay, that's good enough. Machine is here. Let's send it that way. Oh! And that was the exact right length. That was convenient. It, it was pure luck. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna grab a few rails. Multiplayer XCOM hasn't been able to work. Ah, uh, that's... that's sad. That is sad. I really want to kick your butt. It's been so long since you lost to me. And I could laugh at you. <laughs> um, if we go that way, yeah, we're gonna break you the chests. I'm gonna stop at the same spot. But that I did here, I guess. Yeah. You'll just use sectopods? Yeah. Thank you for telling me your strategy. I'm just gonna equip all of my, uh, my people with those uh, blue screen rounds. I could also hack your sectopods to uh, 
use them against you. <laughs> uh, I'm funny. Counter with hidden chrysalids. Eh. Just gonna use rangers. That, that attack. Aliens that get too close. See? I got it all figured out. <laughs> Turn my people into zombies. Eh, I'm not scared of zombies. Cursor King Muton. Yeah. You you really like the uh, World of Chosen? Yeah, it's really fun. What's your favorite uh, favorite new class? Like the three new uh, three new factions. Which one's your favorite? Did you get to play with them a bit? It was great, I used the hidden people from the zombie people. Hidden people from the zombie people? Like the, the really sneaky ones or? The, oh yeah. Yeah, they're great. They're my favorite as well. The Reapers, I think. But yeah, the the like when you get the skill that they throw the um the mine on the enemy, and then they uh you can like get the mine to explode when you attack the enemy. The other one with the former advent. Yeah, they're the ones that I never could figure out how to uh, properly use. The uh, the Templars, the uh, the like melee psionic um, faction, I, I like them too, but uh, it's it's really it really depends on the uh, on the other skills that you get. Like, if you can get the skill that, like, you attack the enemies if they move close to you. Like, it, it they really become incredible. Use the grapple ability all the time. Yeah. Yeah, the grapple is fun. I it, It's not something I use a lot, but yeah, it, it is fun using grapple. But yeah, the the Templars. They're cool as well. But I, I, I agree with you, the Reapers are they're incredible. Your best squad at three Rangers. 
Yeah, I, I totally understand that. <laughs> yeah, that, that one where they, they attack anyone close to them, anyone that moves too close, is just so great. Such a great skill. Yeah, running up to them and slicing, yep. Totally, totally. realize something bad I can't have it break these two blocks so yeah I'm gonna have to remove them to uh, clean it in another direction so I think if I put it like that yeah that's good and yeah perfect was always running up to them and slicing because uh, they even had the ability to gain where the first shot against them misses yeah that's another very very cool cool thing to have and like when you get the skill like where you uh you can give like other teammates more actions and things like that the rangers become simply amazing. Okay, now I'm drilling water. That's not good. I just have one row left. Shouldn't be too bad. Ah. Thank you. There it is. Uh, so that's where is that? That's where this is. Okay. Uh, am I gonna be able to fill this in? I'm not gonna try it today. Not this time. Eventually, maybe. But not today. Now we're just gonna contain the flood. Oops. No block here. And the um, the sharpshooters with the um, I, I preferred them with the pistols rather than the, uh, the 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 sniper. Like their sniper is good, but like you can't move and shoot. Well, with the pistol, you, you can well you can move and shoot, and you can shoot so many times in a single round. It's crazy. So yeah, they're. Uh, also, very useful. Very useful characters. I really preferred the classes from the uh, the second one to the classes from the first one. Um. Okay, so two blocks in. I could start it here.
Yeah, gunslinger. Yep, it was a really cool play style. bridge down here because it will not make its own uh so how far does it reach uh nice we're gonna avoid everything that we need to avoid that's perfect amazing amazing when it stops moving for no good reason. Come on. Go machine. Well, why do you do these things? So weird. Been a minute since you last played. Yeah, me too. There's one thing that I don't really like about that that game. It's the last mission. I don't know about you, but it it just felt kind of boring. Like just a, a regular mission, but just longer. That that was the part that I found a bit disappointing. Because, like, you, you get loads of... bunch of types of mission, like, different sorts of missions. And, like, different types of objectives, all, all that stuff. And, like, yeah, you got one mission that's a bit different, you have a smaller team. And then you just send your usual crew to make an, like, a typical, like, kill everyone mission. Missions in the sewers, yeah. Like, the, the missions where you, you had to capture someone, or where you had to uh, kill the, the kill a general, or something like that. Like, they were cool. You, you really had a, a lot of, of vari variety in those, uh, those missions. Like, if it had been me, I probably would have made like the last mission like be like you make two or three different missions one after the other and you have to send different teams to each like you cannot use the same people like you have to properly split your teams depending on like is it gonna be a sneaky one is it gonna be like a like a super intense like Kill lots of bad guys. Mission. Things like that. That, that would really have been fun. But sadly. It was just a. Kind of a generic. Mission with loads of. Loads of bad aliens. And. That's about it. What, why is it so slow? What's wrong? It got all the rails it needs. Is it breaking something it shouldn't be breaking? That's strange. go and try pushing it some more come on what's wrong with you look that's how you break blocks that's how you do it
Good. Okay. Now let's go. Okay, so that part is done. Didn't break a single chest, that's perfect. So we're gonna clear out those chests eventually, just not right now, because they're full of stuff. Uh, just gonna make myself a tiny little bath to reach, reach my chest, because I'm still gonna have to use them at some point. Can I sleep? Oh my, spawn was not reset. That's strange. Um, what should I do? Do I start another layer? Um, oops. Uh, no, that's not where I want to go. Um, I think that's gonna be it for today. Sadly, at all. Things, good or bad, must come to an end. And yeah, th that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I'm not gonna start another another layer. It's just gonna take too long and it's a bit repetitive. And I kind of ran out of things to say. So, um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. Everyone that did. What? Why am I doing that? That's like the worst place ever to finish or to end the stream. Why did I even try that? There we go. There it is. Well, that's a poorly placed arrow. Um, let's go back into first person view. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye bye.